Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. I'm I'm honestly exhausted. I'm exhausted after watching this um, second part of the Love and Marriage Huntsville reunion, I I really am exhausted. I feel like I went through a wind tunnel. And it's not it's not entertaining. It's it's really sad. And what's even sadder to me is that there is any person besides his mama and his baby mama that has any sort of any any sort of care for this man or trying to give him grace or the benefit of the doubt because he doesn't deserve any of it. When I look at this man, and even though I believe that in spite of all of it, Melody has tried to, you know, act as, now I wanna, yeah, I'm, let me phrase that differently. I'm, I don't want to say act. Even though I believe Melody has tried to live above the the low that he is like she said martel you are the lowest of the low of the scum of this earth listen i felt that with my entire being because that really is the truth there is no exaggeration when it comes to this man and i am no expert in narcissists i thank god i i thank god that i have never been in a relationship with someone like this So I cannot relate to it, but I have empathy because I sometimes hear people who give critiques and they may speak about Melody and they may feel like, oh, she needs to get over it. It's been two, three, whatever years and they're divorced now. Why is she still talking about this man or whatever? And they feel that people who have the side, I would say, of Melody, that they're trauma bonding. I can say for a surety that I'm definitely not a trauma bonder. I'm also not a mellow meter either. I've said that over and over again, that I am on the side of right and on the side of integrity and ethics. And also, you know, I'm, I'm a woman as well. So I gave grace for that also. But there are some women that I don't give grace to because they don't deserve it. And I'll just give an example. Monique, who used to be on Love and Marriage DC and The Real Housewives of Potomac, because the, the lady clearly had issues. She was taking it out on other people, not saying that she was not a target from people who were on Real Housewives of Potomac either. But she obviously wasn't a marriage that she was not happy with. And then she lashed out on Candace and she beat that girl up and it, it was not deserved, even though some people feel like, well, she got what she was asking for. But this isn't about them. I'm just basically saying all of this to preface what I'm about to talk about when it comes to this man. I am not a trauma bonder. I have never been through anything like she has been through before. I've never been with a man, a um, like the man, the male, I will say, that Melody was married to. And woe be unto anyone that would want to risk it all, I would say, to to be with him. Because I'm just going to say this, the dick ain't worth the stress. I, I believe that Arion honestly has some mental issues. I really do. And I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to be funny and I'm not trying to degrade her. I'm being honest. There are a lot of people with undiagnosed mental health issues. And I believe that she has some because when I look at her and I see clips of her lives, I don't follow her. I don't watch her stuff or whatever, but I've seen things. And when I see her speak, I don't see someone who is a certain age that looks younger. I hear a person that is like a literally like a child not someone that looks youthful it's not a flex when she talks about old ladies and old women like girl you should wish that you were mature and you had some wisdom maybe if you pray for some wisdom god will give you some and then you wake up and wise enough to know that you have wasted about 10 years of your life being with 
this lunatic psychopath narcissist. And so when I see him and I see him speak, and even though sometimes we can laugh like him storming off of the stage to go and get this proof that Melody was lying, which was ridiculous. Yeah, that was funny watching him, you know, storm off the stage in that tight suit looking like he's about to <laughs> set a fire with those pants being so tight and him walking in the pants and the friction and all of that good stuff, right? Yeah, that could be seen as comical or funny, but honestly, he really is no laughing matter. This person does not deserve to have a platform on anyone's television show. And the fact that he, of all people, had the opportunity to be on a Bravo show, which has gone down in the ratings and he definitely didn't help to increase them any, on Real Housewives of Atlanta last season and him being on Love and Marriage Huntsville and him admitting that he and Sheree were not in a relationship, which the majority of us knew. He was lying about that. But then when Melody agreed, when Melody agreed and said that it was actually in the court documents that he said that it was a business arrangement, then he's calling her a liar. But nigga, you said that you and her were not in a relationship. You were good friends, which that isn't even true. They didn't know each other. They were not good friends. It was There was no chemistry even though I don't really care for Kimmy and some of the things that she has said and moves that she's made, you know, here as of recent, I, I agree with her when she said, yeah, like it was just no chemistry. It just really looked like a business arrangement. Like maybe he hired her to be an escort, <laughs> you know, to be on his arm at his magazine cover launch party for Upscale Magazine, which was a downscale, it definitely was, with the heavily airbrushed face. And so to see this play out, there is nothing humorous about this. This man is extremely disturbed, and he rightfully was arrested. Apparently, there was a warrant out for his arrest, and they finally got him on it. He was ducking and dodging the warrant. I don't know if he knew that there was a warrant, but he knew that Melody was serious about pressing charges against him because when they were on the Houston trip and he was going off on that tirade, yelling at all of the ladies while the men in the room stood there and watched him. Nobody checked him or clocked him on how he was behaving, period, let alone how he was speaking to their spouses, right? So I spoke about that as well, that that was just insane to me to have them all standing around watching him. Nobody just was like, Look, dude, you need to calm down. Hold up. Let's go in the other room. Like nothing like that. They just stood around watching him. He did everything except haul off and slap the ladies that were he that were standing around that he was sitting there yelling at, like Nell and Melody. And so I just was very disturbed watching this play out and to see this to see this, what is actually right now going on in real time, to hear that there are people that are saying he's a nice guy. Like I heard Dr. Heavenly say he's a nice guy. He never did anything to her. Girl, it's not about what he did to you. It's about what he did to his ex-wife, who was his wife for many years. And the mother of his, like he loves to say, has four beautiful children. So I just don't get why anyone would give him the time of day. Tasha K. She's another story. I don't have an issue with Tasha K myself. As a content creator, she does what she does. But Melody is not angry about him being with Arion. She was like, if you want him, you can have him. Let me go ahead and make this divorce a, a done deal so that you don't have to commit adultery anymore. You can be free to do whatever, whenever with him. And I am out of the equation because she has completely and totally disrespected her. And, and I don't like to hear people call Melody stupid or, you know, call her names 
for trying to make her marriage work because that is most women. Most women that get into marriages, not all, but most women who get into marriages, even if the man isn't worth a piece of crap, they will try, they will make efforts until they have exhausted it. And like, even I don't care for him, like the R. Kelly song said, when a woman's fed up, there's nothing you can do about it. So him trying to do these attempts of trying to get back with her and trying to make it work. It, he was, he. I don't believe he really loved her. I don't believe that he really wants her. He wants the life that he had with her. Because if he really loved her, listen, Cheating on somebody is not a mistake. It's a bad decision. There are mistakes and there are bad decisions. I've said this over and over again. Even though I believe that sometimes people like to use the word mistake because it is a way of trying to have a cop out and not take any accountability or responsibility for the bad decision that was made. But it wasn't a mistake. A mistake is writing the wrong date on a check. A mistake is writing 2023 on a check when it's now 2024. That's a mistake. Slipping your dick in somebody else's hole was a choice. A bad choice, but it was a choice. It was not a mistake. So he never really loved Melody. He loved what he got with her. His life was up leveled. He loved that she was a beautiful and attractive woman and that he had this, this arm, this, you know, this arm candy that he could claim is mine. This is my wife. That's what he loved. He loves the image. And that's why he continuously gets irate and furious when people call him out on the deceit and the cover-ups because he wants to portray an image. It's not about anything that is depth. It's not about anything that is quality. It's not about morals. It's not about character. It's not about integrity. It's about what it looks like. It's about the cover, the image. That's why this loser who needs so much help mentally would go and get work done on his eyes. Do you know how crazy that sounds? First of all, how many men do you hear about going to get plastic surgery on their eyes? I'm not saying they don't do it. Yeah, men are doing more grooming and things like that these days. But the first episode of this season, the first half, because I don't know why Carlos does this, where he splits it up the one season into part A and part B or part one or part two or whatever it is. But the first episode of this full season What do you see him doing? Getting a facial, not sitting on some therapist or psychiatrist couch or even doing a Zoom with a therapist or a psychiatrist. He's getting a facial. He is about image. He does not care about anything that is depth and that is quality, that is meaningful. He is meaningless. So he, I I, I guess he doesn't really know about getting into things that are meaningful. Because if he sits in front of a therapist, it's only because it's court ordered or it's for a scene for the show. Because like like he said, he's an actor, which is bullcrap. You're not an actor. You may be acting and you may be acting up, but you are not an actor. But let's get into this because to hear him, it just is so disgusting and I, 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 yeah, I, I can't. Let's just go ahead and get into this. Is it hard for you to date women because you still have feelings for your ex-wife? Who said I have to have feelings for my ex-wife? Well, the cameras have seen it and you, you had a conversation with her. Nell said you said it to her too. Recently, when well, we what argued. What did I say, Nell? Well, when we had the scene on the porch, you told me then you still have feelings for Mel. You still love her. If you could change everything... You would you would change everything, and it would be male. that's the kind of stuff okay, I hear cool. too. Awesome. You said to somebody. That's the kind of stuff too. I hear. Okay, cool. When you learned that she had this ceremony and was changing her last name back to Rogers, was that the final nail in the coffin of any hope of reconciliation between the two of you? You know, if, if she was about to get remarried or something like that, you know, I'd understand. 
Um, but just going off and just changing your name, and I would say out of the blues, like for, for what? Why? Why? Why does it matter to you? No, it it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. But I mean, since it's you know um, before me, I'm just speaking on it. That's all. Yeah, I'm just I'm just curious. That's all. In terms of why I mean, would it, it was before me. You know, we discussing it, so that, that's just how I felt. But you also discussed it with Miss Nell. We we, we, we were in the scene. I'm sorry. We, we, we were talking about it. So I, I, we talked about it in scene, and we talked about it out of scene. Yeah, he said little things to me out of scene too. So it's not just for a camera. You feel like you telling the world right now that you're still in love with Melody. You feel Melody would take that and run with it? Mm. Or bury you with the truth? You know, yeah. No. We well, think you're getting in trouble I mean, with your, your wife. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Marcel. What was that, Marcel? Who was his wife? Are you in a relationship right now with your child's mother? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm single. Does she think you're in a relationship? That Marcel was hell today, bro. <laughs> He's lying. Huh. What? You think they're in a relationship? I do, yeah. Why do you think that? Because when my kids are there, she's there almost every day. Does it hurt you that she's around your children? Um, it does not hurt me, no. More than anything, I go into protective mode. Like, I'm never going to trust someone who adored my family set up so much that they worked their ass off to come between it. Of course, with the help of him, but still. Hey, our children are perfectly fine. Like I said, for me, knowing that they are around someone who has said such nasty and vile things Why about their mother and about all those and, babysitters sorry, that you and, had. Sorry, and um, about, 11 babies, and about 11 their father, even, who said multiple things you know about their saying? father. 11 See how he defends her? No, He's bringing up something directly at me when I'm talking you about had, a person you know? who has for years, as he knows, tried to torture and come in between our marriage, DMing me. See, he knows all of those things, and I could keep going. So when he sits there and tries to defend, how dare you? You know, I'm, I'm open, I'm easy when it comes to certain things that you request. Uh, we've had the but, conversation. But it's difficult when I request something. So here's the thing. Oh, I've never I, had I, over I, I 11 did, people did. watch oh, my I'm children done. overnight I'm not ever. Done. First no, refusal, it, first right oh of refusal God. is it's overnight in, it's in the paperwork. not to watch your children. Oh, oh, they 11 people are overnight. No, they have so, not. Damn, it's, it's no, the paperwork. I, I, the I paperwork. know what's in the paperwork. Yeah. The same way in the paperwork oh in the God. court case where you were asked if you were in a relationship with Sheree and you said it was a business arrangement. That's in the paperwork too. <laughs> Verbatim. You know, it's called the clerk typing. Oh my. <laughs> it's business. Hold on, what you're saying. So if I don't stop, if I don't get the paperwork. Please do. Please do. I, I, I would love for you to. Yes, no, no, please go uh, get it. Go get it. You're such a liar. No, no, I'm you're not. No, I'm not. You're such a liar. No, no, please go get it. Please go get it. Bring Ooh. all the pages. Well, child, he got a t-shirt receipt, so... <laughs> no, no, let him go get them. <laughs> So you let us hear and sit here and ask all these damn questions about being in a business relationship. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here. You kind of giggled when I said that, huh? But he did. That was a story. So right. I yeah. didn't know it. Uh-oh. I didn't know it. So what document is that in? Lying? Not the vanilla. I'm a Go to the page. Go to the page with your attorney. Find it. My attorney asked you, please. Go to the page. 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 Go to Transcript? Hold on, hold on. That's not the transcript. The transcript was the clerk type when my attorney asked you to call the transcript. Oh, baby. You're such a liar. I'm not a liar because I'll not go pay for the transcript. Oh, my you are. Yes, okay. My attorney asked. Yes, he said, it's not. It's business. And see, even the fact those papers he had printed for you are the same papers he was sending to bloggers to talk about our children's court cases, that's a disgrace to me. We're going to talk about this. I tell you, you are the lowest of the low of the scum. Mel Martel, I gotta move on. Liar! Martel, liar! Mm-hmm. Martel, Never. making me look horrible Never. out here. Making me look horrible on TV. Making me look horrible on the I need you. Stuff you're discussing. Okay, I never discuss on television. You are on the internet. Okay. You have. We're moving on. No, 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 no. No more conversation. Uh, I'm so happy you two are have moved on from each other. Yes, God. Yes, God. And you know what? Yes, God. 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 All right, I'm going to stop it right there. And I know that Melody said something about that's why I beat your ass that one time. Listen, people can try to make that into something if they want to, but to have been in a house and living and married to this scumbag for all of these years, and clearly she was not abusing him. Clearly she was not abusing him. I have said this before that I do not doubt that he was not just emotionally and verbally 
abusive. I feel that he could have been physically. And a a man being physically abusive towards a woman and a woman fighting back does not make her physically abusive. People need to stop with that narrative and trying to equate the two because 9.8 times out of 10, a man has more power than a woman physically. And yeah, if you put a weapon into the equation and a woman, you know, gets a weapon and takes a you know, man out or, you know, aims it at him and may not take his life by it has injured him. We get that. But weapons are the great equalizer. But when it comes to the physical strength of the two genders, 9.8 times out of 10, a man is going to be more physically stronger than a woman. So don't try to make it seem like if she did hit him or whatever because she was so angry or whatever, he was sitting there curled up in the corner crying, Melody, please don't, please don't even try, don't even try it because I believe that people are trying to make that little clip of her speaking out of anger and frustration about a, about how toxic the relationship and the marriage was and how toxic the household was into that. It's not, it, it, it really is not. So getting off of that and getting back onto him with the image, you heard him, you heard what he said. You heard him speaking about how you're trying to make me look bad. You want to make me look bad on TV, out here on social media. You just want to look, make me look bad. You're such a liar. You're such a liar. This man has the nerve to call somebody a liar when everything has been how he looks, And that's why him being questioned by Carlos about him still being in love with Melody and he's sitting there smiling and trying to laugh it off. And Carlos asked him, you know, are you not wanting, he didn't say these exact words, but he's saying, are you not wanting to admit it because of how it could give Melody leverage out here to just make it seem like, see, I told y'all he still wants me and you don't want to look bad because she's rejected you. Because when he asked Martel that, he's like, who said I'm still in love with her? Answering the question with a question is deflection because the truth of the matter is no. I don't believe he is in love with her. He is in love with what he had. He is in love with the lifestyle that he no longer has access to. It's it's pretty much like Celie in the color purple where he had this, curse invoked upon him by his own actions not so much a curse but his own actions has him reaping what he has sown until you do right by melody and i would not even say just melody until you do right by melody and the children that you had with her everything that you even think about is going to crumble and fail and that is exactly what has been happening and i'd love to see it because listen It was so insulting to have him sit there when Marceau mentioned about him not wanting to make his wife upset, which was basically calling Arion his wife. Now, listen, I don't know if they're actually legally married. It could be a possibility and it could be something. I believe that's public record. So if there is a marriage license out there, then somebody would have probably found that by now. I'm quite sure. (laughs) out here on social media and would have reported on it. But maybe they are living together. So he's maybe calling her like his common law wife. And to hear him sit there and say when Melody was asked about how she feels about her children being around this person because Melody said, yeah, you know, Marcel, it's true because almost every time I come there to get my kids or to drop them off, she's there. And he is so disrespectful. He was just like, well, the kids, they're, our kids are fine. You know, it's just horrible. I couldn't imagine having four children that I have to deal with this man with until they at least reach the age of 18. And I got four of them that I got to deal with and deal with him. Mm -mm. 
Man, I, I don't know when Melody started seeing the signs of what this dude was like. One baby, maybe. Child, I would have, mm, I don't know. I'm not even going to go there. But I'm just saying, I know she doesn't regret her children, but I know she regrets who she had the children with. And she even said that herself. I just actually remember that now that I'm sitting here saying that. She said, I wish I had my children with a man instead of a queen. So actually, I'm right about that because she did. she did say that. And so to have him sit there and talk about the image and call Melody a liar. And he was just so adamant about proving her wrong that he had to go and get paperwork from the court case to show that he didn't say that the relationship between he and Sheree was just a business arrangement. Who the freak cares? Because... One, we believe that to be the truth. But two, you sat there and said that you were not in a relationship. But when the show was on, when you were on Real Housewives of Atlanta and being on Love and Marriage Huntsville, you were not saying we're just friends and we're just kicking it. You were acting like you were in a relationship. Sheree with that fake and phony, hey, baby, when she was at the magazine cover lunch party when she came down to Huntsville, that looked so cringe and so fake. She was more affectionate with Tyrone over the phone when she was getting those collect calls from him from prison than she was with Martel in his face in real time. You know, it was just absolutely ridiculous. I felt like I went through a wind tunnel watching this. And the fact that they would continue to humor this man, I don't know what's going to happen after this season because my personal opinion is Carlos is trying his best to go to bat for him. I don't know why, but I believe he's trying his best to go to bat for him. And I don't know if they're going to do like a Jonathan Majors where after his trial, even if he even goes through a trial, because I honestly see him copping a plea. Um, I'm just really not seeing him, seeing him go through a trial because not just for the sake of being afraid to be found guilty, but it costs more money to have an attorney take you through a trial unless he has a public defender and the public defender is going to be pressing him to cop a plea because they don't want to waste their time in court because they have so many cases on their backlog. They don't get paid that much money and they don't want to waste their time with the loser that they already see as guilty anyway, right? So with that being said, I don't know if they're going to do him like they did Jonathan Majors where some companies and studios pull back on him just because of the charges. But after he was found guilty, that's when the rest of the dominoes started to fall. So I don't know if they're going to hold on until he either pleads, cops a plea, or is found guilty if indeed he does go through a trial and then say he's no longer going to be a part of Love and Marriage Huntsville. But he really does not deserve to be on anyone's platform anymore. I mean, honestly, even Instagram should shut down his Instagram page. I just don't believe that anyone should be following him. I don't believe that he should have the number of followers that he does have unless, you know, a lot of the followers that he has are actually bots. Who knows? I don't know. But I just am disgusted by him. I I have been for some time and I'm, I'm just really grossed out by this this character that is all about his image and literally cannot handle the truth. So I just wanted to talk about that, guys. I, oh my God, I was just really infuriated by watching that. And again, I reiterate, not everyone that is on the side of Melody is a trauma bonder or someone that has gone through similar experiences because I can attest to say that I've never gone through anything like she has. I've never been with anyone like him, praise the Lord. <laughs> and I don't wish anyone like him on my worst enemy because I even pray for my enemies, you know? I don't pray that they get blessed and that they live an amazing life, but I do pray that they see the error of their ways and that they wake up and that they, you know, change their ways. But when it comes to him, 
I definitely wouldn't wish him on my worst enemy. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful. And now I'm going to say bye.